always project vertically up with a speed u from the ground at t equals zero. The ball crosses the point p twice while ascending and then descending in respect to tens t one and t two. So time taken to move from o p is t one. What are given things? T o p is t one and t o p a p is t two. Now for this, I'll, I'll ask you the distance covered, displacement, average speed, average velocity. So as it moves from <coughs> various points. So uh, first, first we'll uh, like a, can we look at that h? We don't know this one with a certain speed. From the ground, it equals zero. Th this is what you so find first u and h. Then later on, I will go for some more things. Already, I think I discussed. Once again, I brought this one. So first, we'll write the equations h equal to u t one minus g t one square by two. Similarly, h is equal to u t two minus g t square by two. Because the g will act vertically down, so therefore it will be negative. G is acted opposite to initial velocity, so therefore it is negative. What about h? H is positive in the direction of displacement. So equating these two, u t two minus g t square equal to u t one. I already solved it. I already we have solved this equation u t two minus t one. Equal to g t two square t one square. This u equal to t two plus t one by two. Substitute this value of u there. We are going to get <coughs> h. There's a one thing. Let's uh, okay. The find H and U asked. Okay, fine. I, I I want some other quantities. I'm very much interested. Like, what is the distance covered from O to P? S O P. Distance covered from O to P. S O P. I'll write it. This should be equal to H. Similarly, displacement. From O to P. This should be equal to H G cap. Then distance covered. From O P A P. This, this total distance is asking. So for that we we don't know this, the maximum height it has to be determined. So what is first first <coughs> we'll cal <coughs> calculate few things. I'll later on come to the calculation of these. First, what is h is equal to u square by two g? What is u g t one plus t two whole square by four g or Eight G, huh? it is. It is eight G. This is what H. So total distance covered will be two H minus H, two H minus small H. Distance covered from O P A P should be equal to two H minus H. So two whole square eight G minus H. What is H is equal to? Uh, g t one t two by two. Solving this, t one square t two square by four g <coughs> let let me individually expand it. T one square by four G, T 
62 square by 4G. Two G minus G to substitute value of u no u will be g square by four. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that, that one, some some correction. G square by eight, g by eight it is. 2 will be 2 sorry sorry ah, okay I, I some some correction is there this will be g square by 8 no so 1 g g by 8 it will come 2 h the value of h i'm going to substitute g t1 t2 all square by 8 okay fine huh? Here minus g2. So let's let's expand now. So this will become g t1 square by 4, g t square by 4, uh, g by 4 minus g1, g t1, t2. So this will become minus g t1, t2 by 4. This will be the distance covered. Displacement will be H only. <coughs> Displacement from O to P. Displacement from displacement for path. O P A P. This should be equal to how much it is equal to the same thing. 2 H minus H into J cap. Now what about average speed? average speed average velocity i think here only we can write it no so average speed is equal to distance covered so average speed for the path <laughs> for the path op v average this should be equal to op by t1 SOP by T1. Now, what is SOP? Distance covered SOP is equal to H only. So, I'll, I'll directly write it G T1 T2 by 2 by T1. So, this should become equal to G T2 by 2. Average speed, average velocity. Next average for the path O P A A P is equal to so what is the distance covered? So that that, that we have calculated 2h minus h by t2 t2. Two capital H minus H. Okay, this is only H, no. The last part, only displacement is H. Distance code will be different.
displacement is only small h, no? Yeah. Average speed for the path, 2h, capital H minus small h. I, I think distance, we have that, that, I'll, that data, I'll write it. G, t1 square by 4. ordered by T2. Okay, this is the average speed, average velocity. Average velocity for the path OP AP equal to H J cap by T2. Which is equal to g t1 t2 by 2 looks a bit lengthy the last things are the average velocity all path will be different for different particle <coughs> for op I'll, I'll bring it here now. So there, there's a one path. Let, let me try to explain. Next, another path is only for this. For yellow color is all <laughs> these things. Oh, okay, fine. Huh? Then the then what all we calculate distance covered. All the right, I'll, I'll put this. Hmm? What all we calculated? I'm just highlighting that. See this, uh, it will be for the path OP. Just it will ascend the night. Now, whereas here, it will first ascend, then descend for path OP AP. 